Now in this video, we're going to be adding the title text, this right here, and the little drop shadow effect to make it really pop off the page. I've already got my text added to a notepad or text document here, so I'm just going to copy and paste. Makes things a lot easier, more organized too. Copy that off of there, got that on my clipboard. Now then I want to come back to the full size. Go to 100%, scroll to the top where I'm going to put that text. I want to select my text box and just drag and there. I'm going to kind of center things a little bit here. And then just anywhere in here I'm going to paste my text. And it's invisible. No, it's just the same color as the background here. So I want to make that white. And you've got these options over here that so long as your cursor is in the text box, any adjustments you make here will take hold inside of this text box. In other words, you don't have to select the items. You can select them if you want to only adjust your things on that one item. So if I just wanted the word search to be bigger and a different color, then you select it. Otherwise, the adjustments I make here will affect everything inside of this text box. For example, I want to, I want to change out the font style to something more bolder. Uh, how about that? And let's up the size. I think I'm going to go with 40. And I'm going to untick the editor. Get rid of that box there. And I want the anti-aliasing to be checked because that makes the outline of the letters smoother. It's not that big of a deal until the letters become really big or if you're going to use this on some type of a print item then you definitely want the anti-aliasing. Again, it keeps things a little smoother. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it got a little kind of fuzzy around the edges. Check that. Fuzz is gone. Now I want to center this. Right here you've got the justify options. And let me see. I think that's about it. I'm going to make this box a little bit smaller just to keep things nice and neat. And that's our text. Now I want to add that drop shadow. Come on up here to filters. Come on down to light and shadow. Click on drop shadow. And you've got all kinds of different adjustments you can make. But frankly, from me playing around with this, I find that for what I'm looking for here, the default settings are just fine. And there we go. And that is adding text and a little bit of style to your text using GIMP 2.8. Next up, we're going to add this container. 